and we're live it's melinda coming to you live from hope when there was none and this is going to be well where we share about doing vision boards and i'm a little disorganized and that's okay you know i had a presentation all picked out all wrapped up it's one i've used forever now since i've been doing this and guess what i can't find it <laughs> i can't win to i've been looking all over my desk which is a mess I'll be honest with you, it's a total mess. So I know I had it to actually create this to kind of get everybody going on it. I don't know what the heck I did with it. I really don't. But let's dive into this. But I hope you don't have anything glued down or anything right now. Just listen to me talk if you don't mind listening to me ramble a little bit. Vision boards. Now, I started this. Gosh, I started this, we're talking back in 2006, 2007, let's say 2007 for sure. And why I started creating this was because I needed, I felt like I was lacking in something. I felt like I needed something different in my life. And at the time, uh, many of you know, I was with my ex. <sighs> That's a whole new story. That's a whole new ball of wax. But I was with my ex at the time, but I felt like I needed just kind of like a, a getaway. I needed uh, not a diversion, but just something to kind of fantasize about, if you want to call it that. I really and truly believe that there was something else out there. I did. I thought there was something amazing out there. So I, I started to create these thoughts like, what would my life be without, well, first of all, without my ex? What could it look like? what would my life be like? And then I start fantasizing what kind of house I would have. And I wasn't really even thinking about a mate, but just mainly a house. What would my life be like? What, what would it be like if I didn't have the situation that I was in? I would look at those and I didn't put it on a board. Like, you know, you can go ahead and have, this is just a mini poster board. This one is small. So if you don't have anything right now, that's fine. This will be here for a, a long time. I'll leave this up for a while. So this is 11 by 14. This is a teensy one. You can get them fancy. You can get them in colors. I like to use, I actually like composition notebooks. Then it's a little more private. And you might be saying, yeah, but you're supposed to see them everywhere. But maybe you have somebody in your life that's not very, um, not a cheerleader. They just think this is stupid and really dumb. So in that case, you know, use this. You could decorate the front with, of this with... They have these beautiful papers, mixed media. This one happens to be mixed media pages. These are scrapbook pages. So you can use a variety of scrapbook pages. They come in just these beautiful colors. And you can use parts of them. You don't have to use the whole thing. But something like this, you can decorate the front of that composition book with. As an example, you can use these even on your vision board as a background if you wanted to. So these are things that you can use. And again, that's why I like this. It's a lot more private. And I can't find mine, darn it. Or even my other one. I have more than one. I have no idea where they went to. I have no clue. And I usually show them off when I'm doing these. I have no clue. I don't know what happened. So regardless, again, so these kind of things help me to start dreaming, taking those first steps into dreaming. So when I started dreaming, it's like, well, what do I need to do to get there? And unfortunately, at the time, I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that next, next step was or what it looked like because I was in a different situation. But now when I do these, I'm in a different place. So I'm able to more freely start taking steps. So if you're a bit new, okay, maybe you've never done a vision board, or maybe you have a friend or something that said, oh yeah, I've done vision boards. They don't work. Or uh, maybe you've done them before and you're like, Melinda, they don't work. There's work that has to be done. It's like prayer. Okay. Or, yeah. I'm going to use the God thing. So prayer, God is not a magician. He does not wave a wand. He does not say, "Bing, Melinda, your wish is granted. Bing, Sarah, your wish is granted. Bing. Mike, no, it doesn't work like that. You have to, speaking of work, work for it. You have to start taking those baby steps. And it's one little goal a day, maybe, or a week, whatever that is for you. So, And I really wanted to show you my board. Because as you know, I had... I'm going to share this. I had, there's a local magazine in my area. And... It's called Woman to Woman. 
And they even have one for moms too. And it's in Northwest Indiana. It's in my area. I had just the woman to woman little part. And I wish I could find it on my vision board. And um, that was actually in the beginning of 2020, not even thinking about it. And I think it's because end of 19, I did one of these. I think I did it on video, but I included that in there, just a little picture, a little snippet from there, because I thought, you know what? I would love to be featured on there. That would be, try not to get emotional. I thought that would be really something, I don't want to say big, and it was not a big headed thing, but I just thought that would be really cool. If I could share my story and abuse situation, if I could share that, that would be awesome. So in October of 2020, that's me. Okay, I'm trying not to cry. I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but yeah, that's me. That's me. And then there's one with my uh, my granddaughter. <sighs> mom to mom. <laughs> that's us. It's like, woohoo. They work, guys. They do work. But it took some work. And actually, that was, you know divine interventions. I haven't done it in a while and I really need to get back there, but I would volunteer at St. Jude house and share my story and do vision boards with the ladies there. And it was before COVID, but they went ahead and so they were looking the mom to mom. They were looking for a, somebody for October for domestic violence. And they put my name in and I was so excited. These work jobs. I've been asking God, you know, I really need something that's going, I want to be financially independent. Coaching. I'm a coach. I'm a life coach. I've got a, uh, I'm an eBay reseller. I, you know, you know, I've got my hand in a bunch of different things. So I ask God, please, I need something that I know is going to bring in money. So and it wasn't just this year, it's years past. Miraculously, when I try and get myself a job, I fail horribly at it, but I opened myself up. I put it on my vision board that I need a job. And, um, sometimes when you're a little desperate, especially when I was a single mom, I was looking for that. Miraculously, I went ahead and bumped into somebody because I just put job. I didn't care at the time. I needed some way to bring in income for my family. So I put work, boss mom or something like that on there. And I bumped into somebody that I had that I had as a vendor when I was with my ex. We ran and managed an antique shop. And I just happened to bump into her on the street. She's like, hey, I haven't seen you in the antique shop. What are you doing? Like, oh, well, we split. Um, I'm looking for work. You know, if you hear of anything, she's like, we're looking for a receptionist. You can call it divine intervention if you want to. I manifested my house. I, if you want to, call, I don't even like the word manifesting, but I had my home, my dream home here. And yes, it does need work. <laughs> it does. And it's, it's kind of reminds me of me. It's been really used to, I don't want to say that. That sounds kind of nasty. <laughs> it's been, it's been well loved. Let's say that. So my house has been well loved. Um, I wanted a Jeep. I got a Jeep. I was looking for, of course, my ideal man. Eventually I wrote out a list of a hundred and some things. I got him. No, he doesn't, not a hundred, all 101 things. He doesn't come, there's no one that perfect. There really isn't. I'm not for sure. But uh, these things, I was looking for a camera, a regular old camera, not just a phone camera. And I wanted a phone, a regular camera. Auction, I picked it up for five bucks. Yeah, it wasn't given to me, but sometimes these things are that you put on your board, they come to you in different forms. They come to you in the form of, it's at that auction. It comes to you in the form of this house here was actually foreclosure. And Terry gifted me the money. And since I never had anything on, on my own, dang, I'm going to cry again. I'm going to try not to. I never had anything on my own. I wasn't allowed to. So he gifted me the money. And uh, so this is my house. It's in my name. I have a car in my name. <laughs> so those are first for me. It was very awesome. And these are things I had on my board. I didn't tell Terry. He doesn't look at that stuff. He's like, all the woo stuff. He's like, whatever, Mel. Okay. He's supportive of me, but he's not going to be sitting beside me gluing stuff on the board. But anyway, I just want you to know it works. But again, you have to work. If it's a job, maybe you have to put in a resume. Maybe you have to, if your gut's telling you, you need to walk down that street, divine intervention. Maybe you need to go left when you really want to go right. 
divine intervention, you might end up somewhere where you need to meet somebody, somewhere where you need an opportunity that's on your vision board. You don't know. So I'm going to encourage you to look for your dreams. What are those dreams? Creating an intention whew, that will help. Seeing what I wanted for me, I needed to know who I was, what I wanted. So a lot of this was self-care too. I had to really dig, dig deep into what I wanted. What does Melinda want? And I know that sounds funny to ask yourself, what does what does Will want? What does Lisa want? What does Joe want? And I know that sounds really funny, but you really do need to sit back and, and just ask yourself a question. Even before you do some of this, you might want to go ahead and ask yourself that and, and ask yourself that question before you start cutting these out. But if you think to yourself, well, Melinda, I really want a job where I'm making eight figures. Okay, fine. So you go through your magazines, whatever they are. And you just start cutting. And speaking of which, and I did, I don't know where my little scissors are. I like teeny scissors. They're embroidery scissors because they can get sometimes like these little tiny writing or some of the letters. They can get that better than some of these bigger scissors. So I don't know where my stuff is, um, but I like those a little better. If this is all you got, okay, guys, you use that. That's fine. But think about just start going through the magazines. Okay. Like I said, don't paste anything down. And the reason why I'm telling you that speaking of glue, I know I'm jumping around. I like using rubber cement. I do. I like using it. Um, this glue stick, sometimes it does have a tendency to fall off after a while. It does. It, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes the heat, if you're using it a, a lot, it might fall off. So, and also I'm going back to things. I'm skipping around again. You can get a little frame and put your vision board in a frame. And yes, I am going to encourage you to look at it often as much as you can. Uh, you want to see it as you can, you know, if it's in a closet, maybe you have a prayer closet, you want to look at it right there. So I, whatever we focus our mind onto, that's where we're going to go. Okay. So maybe you want to go to medical school. Maybe you want to be an attorney. We'll put that stuff on the board, but be mindful of the things you cut out. My mind was set on being a boss babe. My mind was thinking, I'm going to do with six or eight figures. I want to put that on my board. So I start going through these magazines. I'm just looking at words. I'm not really focusing. I'm just put, cutting out stuff. And as I'm cutting this stuff out, after I get done, I got this pile. Like I said, it's once you get moving, sometimes it's, it's just you're doing it. You're not even really focusing on exactly what you're doing. You just say, oh, I like this picture. So I'll cut it out. After I got to my board, I noticed none of it was about a boss babe. None of it had anything to do with job opportunities. None of it had to do with money. You know, it all had to do with fitness. <laughs> yes, this is, I'm a fluffy girl. So and it's been a struggle of mine. And I've not been uh, too shy about telling you I'm, I'm an emotional eater. So I've had this problem, love-hate relationship with my, my weight the yo-yo. So subconsciously, even though I was thinking in my mind outwardly, oh, I'm going to be a boss babe. Subconsciously, my, my mind was saying, uh, you need to get healthy. You need to start doing some things for health. So just be mindful of that. And you could always go ahead and cut everything out and weed through it and get what you want. And that's what we're going to talk about the different things. We have several areas that you can go ahead and look through. Okay. There are there are uh, several areas, and I can't, I can't find my presentation, but I know that there's some. See if I can find it. So let me see. So family. I found some notes here. Family. What you can do, maybe unplug as a family, okay? Maybe have more time together. Do game nights or something like that. You can have a vision board with just family, family things that you want to do, uh, a family outing. Maybe you want to go to Disney. This could be a goal for you where everybody in the family, they all benefit. Okay. Maybe you want to expand on your business, speaking of business or your career. Maybe you're not happy where you are. Maybe you don't want to be a secretary or a receptionist. Perhaps you want to be the number one uh, realtor in your area, or maybe you want a, to be a life coach where you're on a platform kind of like Jennifer Allwood or um, uh, I can't remember Sandy's last name, but there are Krakowski. There are so many, or, or Tony Robbins. Maybe you want to be 
up there? What do you need to do in order to get there? Do you need more education? Do you need more learning? Do you need uh, maybe to learn a new language? Do you want to learn a new hobby? Something new or something that could be beneficial to your career, your job, or something like that. Now, that's another area. So also, what about personal? Now, personal, what I mean, I'm not talking about the family. We're going to get them all together. I'm talking about maybe doing some more self-care, doing more journaling. Uh, perhaps you want to learn the piano or learn something. Um, I know this is kind of like the education and learning too, but it's something personal that you really want to do. You want to lose weight as an example. So that's another area you can use this. You can use them all if you wanted to, but maybe just pick one. That's why I'm going through these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, spiritual. Maybe perhaps you're one of those people that are kind of like on the belief system where, okay, God's out there, sure. Or maybe you're like, I know God's out there. I need to pray more. I need to dig into my Bible more. And so, or maybe you need to learn more about whatever religious background or you grew up in, you just don't know about. You only went to Sunday, you only went to Sunday school, you only went to church on Sundays or when someone died or was getting married. Maybe you want to learn more about that. And sometimes spiritual is not only just about going to church, sometimes it's getting out and communing with God all around us. And you know, we all have different beliefs. So maybe for you, it's learning meditation, learning um, from some other culture as well. So just spiritual, what do you want to do? Just getting quiet sometimes is so helpful too. Now, fi financial. Now, this is another point. This is a little different than your professional area, okay? It, than your work and so on. This is maybe you need to get on a budget. Perhaps you need to save money for a new house or a new car. You might need to clean up your credit report, something like that. So this is more this is more of a financial. By professional, I mean I'm talking about the education. Maybe you need to do something for your, your career there, uh, something you want, a raise. Is that something you want to go for? Maybe a promotion, things of that nature. Uh, perhaps you want to, um, again, this could fall in with the education you want to become an AEMT or there's some certification that you need in order to get to be um, rather than a teacher's aide, you need, you want to become a teacher rather than become a, maybe you're a CNA and you want to become a registered nurse, something like that. Now leisure. Now by leisure, it's, this is where you can go ahead and maybe do things that you want to do rather than just rest, or maybe you need a little more relaxation, or maybe you need that self-care of a spa day, something like that. Now, you can do more than one board if you want to. Please, by all means, you're more than welcome to. But again, I want you to think about it's doing these, but also taking the baby steps, taking that incentive, that initiative. Remember what I said about God? He's, he doesn't just, he's not just a wish maker. You have to do something in order to make these goals, these things go. You have to start taking movement. And it might mean that, okay, you want a promotion at work. Well, have you talked to your boss about it? Do you know what you need to do in order to get that promotion? Um, if it is something related to being a CNA and now you want to be an RNA, okay, well, what school do you want to go to? What do you need to do in order to get there? Losing weight, okay, I know I need to give up my love affair with carbs and and chocolate. I love chocolate and, and sweet stuff. So I know I need to stop making yummy food. <laughs> I really love, and healthy food can be yummy too. You know, I've done keto and stuff like that before. So don't get me wrong, but um, I have this this um, this affair with breads and pasta. <sighs> so I know I need I need to work on that. I know there's something for me that I need to work on this. So setting these intentions, setting even just a word. Maybe you want to build your board around words. The big thing over the last few years has been words. Picking out a word. What is your word? And I really want you to sit there and think about that. If you want to put that in your board, you don't have to. Don't pick something um, at random. Maybe it's something you've been seeing, something that's been leaping out at you. And you're like, man, I've already seen that word like three or four times today. Maybe it's somebody telling you something. So pick that word. Dream big. Even if it's something silly like, oh, I am never going to go ahead and go ziplining through the Amazon forest. I don't know if they really do that. 
But I'm just saying, maybe you feel it's silly. Maybe it's not. Maybe you can skydive or, or whatever it is. What is something you've always wanted to do? And this is something not only that I, I'm talking about with, um, with your vision boards, but in your life in general. What have you always wanted to do? What do you want? Whoever's listening to this, what do you want? And I know when I talk to people, um, when I'm coaching, sometimes I'll ask them that question. And they're like, I don't know. We do video chat a lot. So I can see them looking around like, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I know I was there. I know. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know. I didn't even know that I was really allowed to be anything than a mom. Well, I'm Matt Jess, Alex Calvin's mom, you know, and, uh, I'm more than that. I am. I'm more than that. I'm more than that. And so you have these hopes. You have these dreams. And again, you might have these naysayers with you. Ooh, so what can you do with the naysayers? That's why I like the composition book. Okay. And it might be something that you can't share with your partner because they just think it's just really silly. And I'm, I'm, that makes my, my heart really sad if you are experiencing that, where there's somebody that's not a cheerleader for you. And if you need somebody let me know. I'll be that cheerleader for you. I'm actually keeping, I have Melinda's vision board bash. It's a group, which I'll probably put the link down here. And I was going to just open it up and I've mentioned it before. Um, if anybody would like to join, that's fine. We could be cheerleaders for you. The more, the merrier. I'm happy to go ahead and cheer you on. I have some PDFs and some other material that I'm going to pop into that group. Sorry, it's a little chilly up here, so my nose is a little drippy. Um, so I am going to pop in some stuff, some freebies. There's no big sales pitch at the end of that group or in that group at all. It's just somebody, some, excuse me, something for us to gather in, like-minded people, men, women, whatever your background. If you need a hand, if you need that little nudge to go ahead and take those first baby steps into doing something that maybe you're a little uncomfortable with. Again, maybe you don't know what you want. Maybe taking that first step, dipping your toe into um, maybe you're in an abusive situation. Perhaps you're in, it's not an abusive situation, but you've fallen out of love with somebody. Maybe they're just not that encourager. Uh, perhaps you have health challenges. I've done health boards too for the Lyme disease. I have, um, if you don't know, Lyme disease is my nemesis. It's an, I've been trying to um, become a Lyme warrior and slay that dragon and those cooties, those little spirochetes. And, and it's been a, sometimes an uphill battle. But I found when you start conversations, sometimes you glean information and it's all about the power of asking. And I've shared that before, talking with people, asking for help. Sometimes you might not feel comfortable to ask for help, but it is really important to do so, to get other opinions. You might, we all have this idea of, you know, hey, I'm living here, living in a box or something, I've got these blinders on, and I'm not always seeing the whole picture. But when I ask somebody their opinion on X, Y, Z, what do you think about this? Sometimes you can get some really awesome feedback and that's what it's all about. So maybe you're thinking, I would like to have a not-for-profit and this is real talk. I would love to have a not-for-profit and I don't think I've made this, um, I don't think I've been shy about this. I'd like to have a community, a something. And I even thought that there's a local college by us that has a row of uh, buildings. They already have some rehab for women that have been in jail. But I thought, wouldn't that be a grand idea if there's somehow I could get it to where moms and their children, they have nowhere else to go. Maybe they've went to that shelter and now it's time for them to leave that shelter, but they still have nowhere to go. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a place for them to go temporarily, but also to, and this is where my friend Brienne comes in too, because she has similar dreams and my friend Holly, to get these ladies to where they can get on their own feet. They can do that budgeting or I can teach them how to do that or bring somebody in, you know, because I need help budgeting. But you can bring somebody in like a rehab for these people, these women, these beautiful spirits. And that's my goal. So I know I am creating a vision board around that. And I had it. And I had it here. I was going to share it with y'all because I do want to have a healing sanctuary here at my home too. And um, so it's, there's so many ideas you can use and you don't have to be limited by today. I want you to think that you can do this anytime. Let's say it's the spring. Let me ask you a question. Do the dreams that you had, if you can remember back when you were in your 20s or your teens even, are they the same as they are for you now? 
Okay, maybe you're like, Melinda, I don't have any dreams. Well, think, okay, smarty pants. I want you to really think about that. Do your dreams and aspirations that you had when you were a child, a teen, in your early 20s, are they the same that they are now? And I bet you, bet up bottom dollar that they're not. They're going to look a lot differently. We're all older and wiser. I keep telling myself that, but we're older and we're wiser and we have different visions for ourselves right now. It could include children. It could include marriage. It could be second or third time around marriage. It could be that you have a, your empty nester or maybe, maybe um, that you're in your 50s thinking it's menopause and all of a sudden, oops, you're pregnant. And I'm not telling God, hey, I want that to happen. No, Lord. He has a sense of humor sometimes too. And I'm hoping... This is not included. Yes, I still have my parts. My lady parts are still working. So <laughs> I'm hoping one day, you know, that magic wand will just say, Bing, Melinda, you're done. Anyway, off topic. So I, I really want you to think about your dreams and your goals. Again, they're not going to be the same as when you were a child or a teenager or in your 20s. It's going to be a lot different. So I want you to start thinking about those maybe six months down the road. Those dreams, they're going to be different. There's things that I thought I wanted a couple years ago that are entirely different than I wanted now. And there's things that happen sometimes to derail those dreams and goals. And maybe that's just because they're not for you right now. It's maybe that they didn't happen. Okay. Maybe it's because they don't work. Maybe it's just not that time for that. Or maybe you're pushing too hard for something to happen to that. And God has plans for you somewhere else. You don't know. Or maybe I've looked at some of my vision boards and the things that I put in there six, seven, eight years ago, like, well, I'm going to hold on to them anyway. I've got them. So maybe it just doesn't seem to be happening right now. I still looked at them. I still had them. And you know what? Six, seven, eight years later, they happened. It's all timing. And I don't know about divine timing. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I really don't. All I can worry about is what's happening in the presence right now and what I can control. So what is in your control? Can you make a phone call? Can you call somebody to ask about learning Spanish? Can you call somebody to ask for guitar lessons? Can you find out where you can get virtual lessons, where you could take virtual classes? So I'm hoping I'm getting you some of your juices going. What I know in this world that we're living in right now, it could be hard to dream, but maybe I know I had a friend, she was, she likes bridges. And so she was hitting bridges all over the US and she's set out to hit some bridges that are overseas. And I know she's accomplished quite a bit of that. And I know there's people that would like to do like the, um, the Appalachian Trail. They would like to do, my friend Will turned me on to the Cannonball. Oh no, what was it, Will? And I don't remember, Will, I hope you're watching. But there's a Cannonball and I can't remember the name of it. Oh, the Scooter Cannonball, where I thought I could do that because I really wanted to bike across the US to share my story at domestic violence situations, but I hurt my knee in the big knee blowout. I told people that I was helping a woman that was having her purse stolen. And, you know, I got dragged when the carjacker was taking her purse. That's the story I was telling. And Terry's like, will you tell people what really happened? He's like, tell them about the bounce house. So yeah, I was in inflatables with my sisters, with my family several years ago now. And my mom wanted to get a picture of myself and my two sisters in the bounce house, in the bounce area. And um, my sisters decided to jump and I was oblivious <laughs> like I am sometimes just ah, la, 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 la. they bounced. I didn't. They came down. I flailed and went up, came down on my both of my knees really hard, messed the heck up out of both of them. But my left one, especially, it's still it's never healed right, but I didn't have surgery. Thank the Lord. It's um, healed a lot by itself. I do have a lot of energy work I do on that too. So I don't know if I'm ever going to go right across like I wanted to, but that's okay. The scooter cannonball though, I might be able to do that. I don't know if anybody is interested. Maybe we can, I'm looking for buddies for that. But that's I think next year or the year after. But anyway, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to make a vision board for that because you know what? Sky's the limit. No one can control your dreams. No one can control your goals and aspirations. There might be people out there that say, oh, you're not going to be able to do that. But we're going to ignore those people because I believe in you. I know you can do anything you put your mind to. Okay. Honestly, you can. Maybe I'm not going to be an astronaut, but maybe I could go ahead and 
teach people about the stars. Or maybe, and I am such a nerd for looking at meteors and, uh, you know, the planets and the stars outside. I love doing that. A lot of times I'm outside by myself looking at the stars and things like that. And every once in a while, Terry will come out or we'll bring out mattresses and we'll lay outside. It's a little chilly out there for now outside. Um, but you know, what, what can I do? What else? You know, I've got so many dreams and aspirations and um, wishful thinking, and I'm not going to let that go. No one can stop me from that. I can always dream and dream big. So I encourage you to do so. And so when I said, please don't slap anything down, it's because I want you to make sure that you have your, your cuttings in the right area and you don't have to use magazines maybe you don't have magazines right now and i do encourage you even if you're watching this right now go to your local library sometimes they sell these for like a dime or 50 cents a quarter or something or even a dollar so you can get these a lot cheaper and i go to my library and let them know because they do purge these every once in a while and say hey um i need magazines since i go to the uh, shelter or other places or hold classes, I do need quite a few magazines. So I've gotten hundreds of magazines from the local library. So I encourage you, especially if you're budget-minded, go ahead and do that. You can also grab things from the web. This is actually from my friend, my friend Ria's book. And this is from her book. So you could take drawings, you can color, you can make things. This is actually something for me um, that I wanted to do with something out of her book that she had and I really really enjoyed that it's um do I have her book here I don't know if I have her book here you'll have to look I do heart to art sorry Ria I'm giving you a, a shameless plug heart to art she has got some great things on here you can keep or put some of these get some coloring you can put some coloring pages in here you can get words you can get and this is really I mean, like here, this is kind of cool. Can you imagine what you put in it? The door of opportunities. What can you do with a door for opportunities? It's a keyhole image. But what can you do? She said it could be actually seeing things right in front of you to give you a glimpse into your world. Or it could be a scene that you make up in your mind or a glimpse into your imagination. Ooh, Rhea. And this is on Amazon. Okay, so Rhea's book there. I didn't mean to do that, but I was just saying this and it reminded me of that so you can use images from books you can go to the web i really got to find this you can find things from the web you can make a virtual a virtual um screen for your i can't remember i can't think of the word i'm sorry you can get a um the screen for your phone screensaver sorry about that line moment um you can get a screensaver use that for your phone um, on your computer, your laptop. So you're still seeing it. You're still seeing that repetitiveness. I'm going to find mine. I'm going to pop it in here in the comments. And this was one that I created for my vision for a not for profit. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. And this was through Canva. So you can go to Canva. There is another one too. There are a couple apps that you can use as well for doing this too which is kind of fun. I'm going to go ahead and grab this real quick. And yeah, I don't know what I did with it. I had a copy of it. I'm going to put mine in the comments as soon as it comes on out. But you can print words, you can draw, you can color, you can get uh, colored pencils. You can, oh, that's came out in a PDF. If you can get, um, what else can you do? You can do this is what I want, Canva. Okay, you can do, um, you know, I'm all about glitter. And if you don't, I'm all about glitter. I love me some glitter. So I like putting glitter on the board. I like doing glitter pens, glitter markers. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fiend for glitter. I love that. So you can use glitter. You can use um, buttons, any kind of little baubles, stickers. Dollar Tree has some. It's now the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. What's up with that? Anyway. I was really, really upset when I went into the dollar store not too long ago. So let me find this and tell you all about it. So I've mentioned it to you before about my dream here for my not-for-profit. And so I really, really would love to have it. Now, where am I? I'm seeing this. I'm live here somewhere. 
I'm floating around in space. I'm live. I'm going to put it right here. So let's do this. So this is my dream. Again, you can do this virtually if you want to. You can do this as your screen server saver. I can't remember the name of it. I wish I did. But there are apps you can look up too. So what is it you would like to do? I would really like to know. And I'm nosy. You know I'm nosy. So put it down in the comments. If you're interested in joining that group, by all means, please do so. So here is mine. I'm putting it on the Hope When There Was Nothing page. So hopefully you can see that. But my goal was to get a yurt or a tent or something because I want to do more retreats and so on. I'm an outdoorsy girl. I know not everybody is. But these are things that I wanted to, to incorporate. So I've got that down below. So hopefully you can see it. If not, that's okay. I will... Go ahead and put something on there later. Oh, Joe, you are there. Amanda, you are there. Yay. Hi, guys. I'm just seeing the comments right now. Hi, ladies. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Hi, Nadine. Thanks. Jim's asleep because of my voice. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, ladies. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'm just looking at the comments here of these beautiful, beautiful ladies. Hey, Joe, don't worry about it. You're fine. 602, girl, you are not late. That's all right. And thank you. She says she loves my house. Yeah. <laughs> I will have to. Okay, Joe says creating an intention is like an arrow. Let it fly. Oh, girl, I like that. I told a friend that she used magnetic board for her vision boards. That's a great idea. Oh, I like that. Yeah, healthy. <laughs> Jim, I'm just looking over there, over at the at the uh, comments here. So, yes, Joe says she needs to make peace with things that are beyond her control. Yes, you do. And, you know, sometimes, <laughs> yes, and Joe... Joe is amazing. And Joe, I can see you doing this. She wants to approach your government and discuss making things easier for people to leave abusive relationship. And she was telling me about uh, things in Australia. She's from Australia. And just sharing about different things about that. Oh, see, and she talked about it. And one dream as a teen was to own a pair of knee boots. And she got some this year. Yes. Yes, yeah, so a bucket list. And I know, Joe, you've been talking about your bucket list. If you have a bucket list or you don't, I encourage you to use it with your vision board. And that was part of my vision board. I interacted with both. Thank you, Joe, for mentioning that. Now, if you don't know what a bucket list is, or if you want to call it a goal list, if a bucket list is a little too morbid, what it is, is before you kick the bucket, air quotes, this things that you always wanted to do or things you want to do before you die. Yes. And uh, that bucket list came for me is things I wanted to do since I left my ex. Not so much the other, but since my, I left my ex. And you're right. It's never too late to start, honestly. So Joe says, being in an abusive relationship changed what life means to me. Having cancer and surviving changed things again. Oh, Joe. Yes, you are the ultimate survivor, girl. You are. She's such a warrior. Okay, so the scooter cannonball, Amanda, that is actually, it starts in the east, and you're on a scooter, and you go to California. It's mad. You have like a week or 10 days or something or 14 days to make the trip. It's insane. It sounds awesome, though. <laughs> so, I, yeah, you might need to Google that. I'll see if I can find something in a little bit. But, yeah, it sounds amazing. I have not seen the movie. I have. There is a movie about that. I haven't seen the movie. No, it's not Cannonball Run. <laughs> <laughs> there is, but Cannonball Ball Run is really very cool. So yes, I'll have to. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's. I'm gonna. Sh I'll share the scooter, scooter Cannonball with you, ladies. And yes, Amanda, you guys can come back. You guys can come back to the fire. And, and but yes, it does sound so much fun. It really does. Yeah. You know, I wonder if you could do it with a tricycle. I don't know. But it does sound amazing. Will, well, I know I talked to you ladies about Will. He had his RV there, but um, at the retreat. And I'm looking up Scooter Cannonball. And let's see. It was, it began in Maine and it finished 10 days later in Eureka, California. Oh, it sounds amazing. It really does. It sounds like I'll just go ahead and put it in the comments. It sounds absolutely amazing. I know we're getting, I'm getting off track. 
but it sounds so like so much fun. But you know, that's I want to do the Appalachian Trail. I, I would like to do the PCT and all these other splendid trails. You know, I told Mr. Awesome that I want to do something probably by myself, just because I am up to the challenge. Now I did do, go up to Michigan. I was invited to be a vision board speaker there. I didn't ramble on like I am now, but I did go up there to do presentations for the Gypsy Soul re Retreats. And that was amazing. That was a lot of fun. Let me put this in here. This is a scooter ball can and run. Hopefully that'll go on through. That was for 2021. And they have it every, I don't know if it's every other year or, or something like that. I don't recall. And there are requirements, and I think it's all on there. Scooters, view map, Facebook, there's YouTube. So the writers, and I was following a few of the writers, too, during when they were live. It was a lot of fun. I found out, I think Will told me like a week or two before, I, you need to plan this. You really do. I don't know if I can ride a scooter. I can barely ride my bike, but I'm going <laughs> to give it a whirl. I, I'd like to give it a whirl, at least. That's my goal. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens. But these are things you could put on your vision board. I, again, you, it's never too late. Like Joe says, it's never too late. And I think there's a quote like that. It's never too late to dream or, or to or something like that, if anybody can help me with that one. But I do encourage you to get those magazines out. And yeah, Joe, she drove to my place. It was about five hours, six hours by herself. She retrieved something on her own. <laughs> Made her feel like a batch boss. <laughs> so get out your creative scissors. Get out your, I don't know if you ladies are doing this right now, but Oh, six hours? Well, thank you. God bless you, girl. God bless. I mean, that was Michigan for me, going up to the Gypsy Soul Retreats. That was about six hours. That was. That was, that was a lot of fun. I did it by myself. I have problems. I have challenges. And sometimes I have vertigo. And I haven't had narcolepsy episode in a long time. It's all the Lyme challenge. So Mr. Awesome does like to, and I tire really easy. So he likes to go with me. I know you probably wouldn't guess it, but I do. I, I tire really easy. So he's... He drives with me a lot. So he, it was very nerve wracking for both of us when I went by myself, but it was very, it was very, um, I was like, yay, I did it. Yay. I was so proud of myself. I was so excited because I, I did it. And it's like doing something with your, oh, good. She's been saving, Joe says she's been saving pics from her Google too. For her vision board so i can hope i hope you guys can see what i put on there so yes yeah, save those pictures you can do that that virtual vision board as well and you can put that as your backdrop just look at it often but when you start doing your vision board do me a favor if it's something as uh let's say that you want to go for a walk or go for a hike and maybe you've never hiked before but maybe a two or three mile hike it can be challenging okay maybe you go for a mile Celebrate the small wins, the tiny wins, even if it's something like that. Hey, I went around the block. I went around the block today. Yay, I went on my bike today. And I didn't, but I'm just giving you an example. Or maybe you stepped out and like Ms. Joe, you started gathering your thoughts, maybe for a possible book or just as a memoir for yourself or for your children. You started gathering those thoughts too. Oh, thanks, Nadine. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, they they were. They're unfortunately the gypsy show, gypsy gypsy soul retreats are no longer, and I'm really sad about that. I think I, we did it for two or three years in a row. That I did it with them. It was a lot of fun. It was an art retreat. Hi Ben. <laughs> Hi Ben. Thank you for joining me, Ben. So it's been a lot of fun just doing these vision boards, looking back to see what I put on the vision boards, and what happened. It's like oh, I didn't believe that was going to happen, but it did. So when you look back at past vision boards, it's amazing. Thank you, Joe. She's a warrior too. Thank you. Make me blush. <laughs> so when you start looking back at these, you can be really, really surprised and amazed about what happened, even if you haven't looked at the board for a while. But I do encourage you to look at it, put it in a place where you can see it and see it often. And uh, just so you can get to like a um, 
kind of cheer yourself on like, oh yeah, I want to do this. Maybe it's fashion. You might want to be this fashionista or you want to save up for a purse or a Gucci purse or Michael, Michael K, Michael K. I don't know anything about fashion, so don't ask me. But I know I saw a lady had a purse. It had MKs all over it. It's like, my MK. I said, I didn't know Mary Kay had purses now. I said, that's pretty cool. And she looked at me and she goes, it's Michael, blah, blah, blah. And she kind of flipped her hair and she walked away. I'm like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know who the heck that is. I don't follow that stuff. I don't know. And I saw her later. She's like, yes, it cost me $800. I said, for a purse? What? Do you know how many groceries I can buy with that? But that's me. If that's what your heart and your dream is, girl, you go for it. Or guy, you go for it. Thank you, Michael Kors. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate that. Yes, it, it does. It really helps to look back at those old visions. And again, it might have changed from six months ago or a year ago. It, at time, even six months ago. Okay, ladies, just from the year that I started to know you, I can tell you all, you've made big strides. You've made big changes. And it's phenomenal. Even if you don't see it in yourselves, I see it in you. And thank you. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> But I do. I see it in you and I see it in the way you talk. Maybe we don't always hang out together, but I see it in the things that are going on in their lives and these beautiful spirits. I do see that. I see the blossoming and so on and so on. So I just want to give you all a kudos. So the things that you, the, who you were last year, totally different. Yeah. 800, I think is cheap for a purse for some of them. I, I know they can go up a lot higher. Put $800 in my $5 purse, please. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. That's not us. And that's not me. And I, I'm, it's not that I don't want to have money to say, hey, I can afford $800 purse. And like I said, I'm not mocking anybody that can. I think that's amazing if you can. But I can think of so many other things that I can do with that. I really do. I can think of how, how many different things yeah, I really can. I could pay off this bill. I can get groceries. I could do this, that, and the other. But if that's what somebody can do, that's amazing. Good for you, really, really and truly. So I'm not putting anybody down or being snarky. It's just, that's not me. I'm a yard sale girl. I really am. I love thrift stores and so on and so on. Now, have I owned a very pricey purse? I've been gifted purses. I had no idea what the purse, <laughs> the purse was. Oh, I don't remember. It's a lady, Sandy, Sandra or something. I don't know. But I was gifted a purse and somebody was like, that's like a $300 purse. It's like, who, what? I don't know who the lady is, but someone, and this is all manifesting, all vision boards and some things like that. I've been asking God, for me, it's God. I'm, I don't ask the universe. I ask God for not things, but it's like, you know, I could really use a hand with this, Lord. I can really use a hand with that. And I've been gifted courses. I've been gifted coaching sessions. And I, I really, and truly, I feel blessed. I've been gifted coffees. You know, I'm all about coffee and tea. I've been given gift cards um, out of the air for like, oh, hey, I was thinking of you. Here's a gift card for coffee. Not that I'm asking anybody today for a gift card for coffee. No, I'm not. I'm serious. But it, little things like this, once you start opening up your heart, not just with the vision boards, but gratitude. A lot of this has to come with gratitude, changing your mindset into more of a positive mindset. Sometimes we can get hung up on things. Man, this, this life is just happening to me. I can never seem to have anything good happen to me. It's always bad. Now, do you know anybody that thinks this way? Have you ladies ever heard of anybody? There are people out there that it seems like every time you talk to them, there's some sort of drama going on and that life is happening to them, you know, and at them. It's like the universe, God is out to get them. Well, there's no God because if there was a God, why would he want this to happen to me? Or, you know, if I was meant to love somebody, then why wouldn't God send that person? And sometimes we have to do things in order for us to get to that point where we find that love of our life, where we where we get what we need. But sometimes we have to work for it too. She was gifted expensive. Joe was gifted expensive boots. I felt loud for my ex after I left him. I was supposed to be grateful to go back. Another trophy, war trophy for me. <laughs> yes. 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 You got it, Joe. You got it. So these are little things. So I encourage you. I don't know if you ladies have some paper and you're doing magazines now. Please go ahead. I intended to, but I didn't clean off my desk. 
And again, I didn't find everything I wanted to to share. I have no idea where it went to. I don't. Uh, little post-its. I encourage you to do post-its. I love post-its. I put them on my bathroom mirror. They're words of encouragement. Put them on your vision board too. You can. You were gifted dinner last night. Me and I, woo, that's awesome. Yes. Yes, it's awesome. Celebrate those things. Those are wonderful things. I love when that happens. It really does. And it seemed like once I started putting my dreams down, once I started opening up my heart, you have a parenting vision board. That's awesome. Yes, girl. Yes. Good. Once we start putting these things in motion, it's amazing what can open up for you, what can start happening to you. Okay, Joe's in the process of getting her vision board together. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Amanda can't po post a picture. That's fine. That's all right. No problem. But it's baby steps. Gather your supplies. If you don't have them today, that's fine. This will be here. I'm leaving this up again. If anybody wants to, oh, I've got to find the group. If you want to join the group there, we're going to be cheerleaders for one another. You can go ahead and share. I remember what I called the group. And does, did I call it that? Oh, I did. Okay, so I'm going to put this down in the chat if anybody is interested in joining. I don't think I have too much in there right now. I have it as private. I didn't do a public just in case somebody wanted to share or overshare, and that's fine too. I'll put that down in the comments. There'll be some lots of freebies in there. And again, we can be cheerleaders for one another. That um, just sometimes you need that encouragement. You might need, again, feedback. Hey, Hey, sisters, I did this or I wanted to do that. And what do you think? Does it sound silly? That sort of thing, too. So um, it, it's all baby steps. So I encourage you all to you know, celebrate those small wins. Thank you. I'm going here right now. Thank you. And approve. I am going to put this on the podcast too. So if you know anybody that might be interested in this, yes, we do need pom-poms. We do. <laughs> but I want everyone to, to feel like they are um, supported. So I'm, I'm always, I won't say always, but I'm, I'm open. If you need to talk, anybody out there needs to talk about vision boards, about those goals, about what you should take for those first steps. And they can be really scary sometimes. Maybe somebody needs, again, I go back to leaving an abuser or leaving, uh, divorcing somebody or separating, even if it's not an abusive situation. Sometimes it's taking those first steps, talking to an attorney or talk to three or four. You don't have to settle on the first one you see. Talk to an attorney. Let me grab some water. Excuse me. I'm a little dry. And um, to gather information, maybe you can't afford an attorney. So gather all your questions for this person and then start going to visit different attorneys. A lot of them have, many of them can have free consultations. Not all. There are some that uh, do charge. So be mindful of that before you make your appointment. But then ask, hey, I've got this list of questions and see which compare notes. Did one attorney make a good argument? Did another one? You could do this for the doctor too. Maybe you need to take your health into consideration. Maybe you have some health challenges and you need to have some questions with some doctors. Perhaps you need to also see another doctor for a second opinion. Start gathering information. Visit. You know, you are responsible. You are probably your best advocate. Nobody else is going to be a cheerleader for you more than you are in those certain situations, whether it's legal representation or your health matters. Okay. So I encourage you to please advocate for yourself. Okay. And uh, sometimes we have to do that. And I know I had to do that myself. But again, back to the vision boards, you can have fun with it. Get that glitter out. Get that lace out. Get um, doilies out. If you want to be wild and crazy, get the health magazines out. Um, I've got shape right here. There's all kinds of in style. Um, there's a couple people that I work at the post office too. There's a couple ladies. They're like, I don't want these magazines. So they have gifted them to me so I can use them going forward wherever I need to. And I'm going to do this probably a little later because I see my desk is messy right now. So I'll probably do this a little later. I actually got started. I've got a little, little um, cache of, of things I've clipped out. 
little pictures and so on. You can use music notes. You can use music paper. And I've done that before. I've used old music, sheet music, which is kind of fun as a back. It can be creative. It doesn't have to just be pictures and words on there. You can get a little creative, a little funky with that. Like I said, stickers, if you want to get that glitter out. But, you know, it's all about allowing yourself to dream, giving yourself that gift to dream, being open to dream to whatever your heart desires, because you can do it. Maybe you want that expensive purse. Actually, I found a purse that I like. It had pom-poms all over. I, I'm obsessed with pom-poms and dots and such. And it had dots and pom-poms all over it. It's like $200. Like, I can make that. If, if if I'm also one of those girls that you can go with to the store and it's like, oh, I can make that. I probably can't, but I do say that a lot <laughs> and I might give it a whirl. It might not look good, but I do have good intentions sometimes, but um, yeah, just open up your heart, open up your mind. I can encourage you to look into those areas. It, again, it doesn't have to be like Manda says, she has a parenting vision board you can have. And let's talk about that love too. Um, I was doing vision board class back in, I think it it's been a while. It had to be, I think, 2017. I did a vision board or early 2018. I did a class for a, a group. And one of the ladies there was newly divorced, about six months. And she's like, Melinda, I can't have a person like that. Well, what can I do? I said, well, this is what I did. I made a list. It was like over 100 things of what I wanted in a person. What kind of relationship do I want with this person? I went to specifics. What kind of hair he should have? What kind of sense of humor he should have? Did he like animals? Did he like children? That was number one. Did he like God? That was also on there too. That was high. That was number one too. Did he not necessarily go to church? You know, I, but I wanted someone that really had a heart and a love for God. I, I really did. I wanted somebody that was a non-smoker. I wanted somebody that didn't do drugs, that really wasn't into sports. But if he was into sports, I didn't want him to be so into sports that every Sunday or every game we had to watch because I'm not really into sports. Unless it's badminton. I like badminton. Um, but, oh, and I discovered, was it rugby? Rugby is cool. That is really cool. I don't remember where we were. Terry and I were at some sports bar. I know that sounds funny. We were looking for a restaurant and all we can go is by the bar and they had rugby on. It's like, oh, this is so cool. Where has this been all my life? It was so neat. So yes. And Joe, yes. She said, believe, believe it can happen. Joe met her partner from across the world. She did. She said he, he came from a world away. It happened freaking crazy and awesome. So it can happen. So make that list. Make that list of things that you want in a person. Does he have a job or she? Does this person have a job? Does this person, um, how was their health? How, do they own their own car? Are they debt, debt free? Are they um, gainfully employed in, in a solid career? You want to ask all these things or write all these things down. Do you want them to draw you a bath? Do you want them to make food for you? Do you want to work as a as a unit together, rather than like we're in some foreign country that where you walk 10 paces behind your mate or some guys are into that with the Bible that you can't, they're the authoritarian and the wife can't stand next to them. They have to walk behind them. You know, does this person like sex? Okay, real talk. Do they like to um, like to handhold? Do they like to hug? Do they uh, like how you look? Do they, do you want them to wear a suit, a tie? What is it? Do they want them to dance? Things like that. Yeah, so Joe says, yes, make that list. She says, hell yeah, make that list. Jim has done all that. See, yeah, Terry's done a lot of these things. He smokes a pipe, which is okay. I'm okay with that. I like the way a pipe smells. And um, I think we did a cigar once because I wanted to try it. It was on my bucket list. I wanted to try a pipe and I wanted to try a cigar. So that was on my bucket list. So bath, cook, massage, spend whatever I want. Yeah, Terry's... We're really close. It's nice to be in a relationship, a normal relationship, where you are walking along somebody and not behind. So it's really, I really encourage anybody out there to please make that list. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't say no to sex because of my ex's interpretation of the Bible. And girl, I 365, that's me, 24-7. That was me. You know, um, even... A couple days after I had given birth, 
it didn't matter. You know, it didn't matter if I was had the flu or anything. So, and it wasn't, it was because I was supposed to do my duty, my be submissive and do that womanly duty. So I hear you. I get you. I get that. But I'm so glad you're free of that. I am. I'm so glad you're free of that. So things that you can do now, again, is just to create those lists. Maybe it's a dream job. Maybe you need a, not only a vision board for, for a job, but you need one for your dream job. What would that be? What would that look like? Would you have at home? Would you work from home? Would you, and if you did, what would that look like for you? What about your vacation? Why don't you start journaling? And I'm all about journaling. You know that, ladies. Why don't you journal this? What are your hopes and dreams? Why don't you write that down and pretend it's happening? Write it as if it's happened. I'm doing this right now. And I've done this for the not-for-profit dream that I have. Write it down as if it's happening now. And I encourage you to keep dreaming about it. When you look at that vision board, when you look at that list of that dream guy or that dream girl, look at that list as if it's starting to happen or if it already has happened. I encourage you to do that. Now, you're not going to meet that dream person just sitting on the couch, okay? And I encourage you to get out there. Maybe go to places that you like to go. Go to the zoo. Maybe you like the zoo. Maybe you'll meet that person there. I met Terry at Antique Shop. And uh, that's where we met. We both like antiquing. So go maybe where your heart lies. Maybe a friend suggests that you go to, I don't know, somewhere, a concert, and you're like, ah, I don't really feel like it. But then you bump into this awesome person that you probably wouldn't have met if you had stayed home. So I encourage you to do that. Oh. Oh, Joe, I'm sorry. Yeah, Joe had was raped. And you know what, the, the guys, the thing is, is they don't consider it that, you know, because I know I've been there. They don't consider that that. They're just taking what you're supposed to be giving them. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Amanda says she created a list of 10 to 12 things I wanted to achieve with my life after I left. Ooh, I have continually checked off almost all the items. That's awesome. Way to go, Amanda. That is great. And keep adding, you know, keep adding. And I'm always adding. And I think I have it on my blog, my bucket list. I, I haven't checked that in a long time. I might have stuff on there that I have already done and I haven't checked it in so long. Here was that blog spot. I haven't visited my blog in a while. But I'm pretty sure I still have my bucket list on there and I might throw that down here. And it was things like uh, baked cookies without having to worry about someone arguing or fighting or even um, there was a time where putting up the Christmas decorations, holiday decorations was very triggering for me. I didn't want to do it. So something simple as having a quiet holiday was very important to me. It really was. And, um, you know, to play that music in the background while we were putting up the tree and to do it as a family, that became very important for me to do. I'm sorry, my nose is just a little drippy. So i talk about lists. I'm looking at that right now. I'll find it. I'll have to find it a little bit later. So ladies, do you have any questions about doing uh, vision boards? Is there anything that I can answer? You'll have to look. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, Joe, you're right. And I try, right, and, and moving on, I try not to get too bummed out about it, but sometimes, some things, you know, I still have those moments where I'm still a little triggered. I really do. I, every once in a while, something comes up where um, it just takes me back. I, I had that recently, and I, I'll talk about that Tuesday. I'm not going to get into it right now, but um, I, I, I encourage you all just to make keep those lists coming, keep those boards coming. And yeah, if you're going to be in the group, I don't know if anybody else joined, but I encourage you to to go ahead and um, 
to join the group. And that's okay. If no one does, that's fine too. But I'm going to put it on the podcast. I'll share that link. I think I already shared the link. Yes, because I have somebody in here now. So I do encourage you, let's be cheerleaders for one another. And let's let's keep it positive and let's cheer each other on. Oh, here it is. I found it. Yay, I've done it. Of 2012 when I posted it. I actually had it a little bit longer, but I, I think... Um, yeah, so I posted it here. So I'll post this down here. Oh, thank you, Amanda. I'm going to have to look at that. I have to look. Yes, concentrating on the positive. Yes. And I know it can be a little downing. And that's why I'm saying let's, if anybody wants to join the group, we can go ahead and cheer you on. And just as a reminder, hey, when you get a little down, that's fine. I might even keep it up for the full year. I don't know. I haven't decided yet or quarterly. But let's keep on just adding to it or just inspiring and um, being a cheerleader for one another. It says an error occurred. So I don't know if that actually went through, but thank you, ladies. I'm going to let you go. I'm losing my voice again. So, and I can feel it. Pretty soon I'm not going to have much of a voice. So I'm going to let you all go. If you anybody has any questions about vision boards, by all means, message me privately. Again, you could put it in a picture frame. You could put it in a composition notebook. I have one that's in a sketchbook. Um, <clears throat> I have one that's in a sketchbook. Uh, you can do it virtually. There's different ways you can go ahead and, and use that. You go to Pinterest, you will find a ton of other ideas. There it goes. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm sorry. I was hoping to go a little longer, but I I'm losing my voice. I will see you back here on Sunday for Soulful Sunday. And also I do have, thank you, Amanda. I do have a guest coming on too. Her name is Amanda. She's going to share her story. And the stories that we're going to be sharing aren't always about domestic violence. Some of them are going to be health challenges, mental illness, and different things like that. Sharpie on your fridge. <laughs> yep, yeah, you can put that on that vision board. I've had my vision boards on my fridge before, too. All right, I'm going to go before I keep talking and really lose my voice. Thank you, ladies, for joining me. This was fun. I love this. Thank you all. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon. Again, I'll be back on Sunday. Just tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it's tomorrow. I'll be back here tomorrow. I'll be on here tomorrow with Manda. I don't remember the time, but I will be with Manda and hopefully I'll have my voice back. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah. Stay safe. Thanks, Nadine. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Manda. Oh, thank you. Have a great rest of your night, ladies. And I'd love to see your vision boards. Join the group so you can share. Bye-bye. <laughs>